All right, good morning. How you guys doing today? Um, got a simple axe hack. Um, I've slightly modified this one. It's a Grands Four Brooks uh, Scandinavian Forest axe. Bought it, bought it a couple months ago, and I've been using it. Um, I've, I've come up with a hack that allows you to extend the life of your handles on, on these. Um, the GFBs work pretty last pretty good in the first place um, but but there's a way to make them last longer I've got an old wetterlings I did this too many many years ago I've got almost 20 years on that handle I'm going to turn it into a Franken axe um, here pretty soon I just got to order the right stuff so when an axe handle is shapened when it's cut the wood is super dried down. So all the moisture's out of it. The, um, the, the wood is completely contracted. And, and that is when they cut the eye for the head. Okay? So as after it's hafted into the head, the, the handle, they, they coat it with some boiled linseed oil, and then they will... Um, allow the wood to swell. Well, th those guys are just doing, um, just applying the boiled linseed oil from the outside. So what I've done, I take my drill bit set here, and I have a 964th bit. So on the top here is where the handle was turned on the wood lathe. These are all CNC um, turned and routed. I drilled through with my drill the best I could. I came down about seven eighths of an inch. Let's see if I can pull it out here. All right, so it's about seven eighths. I apologize for the lighting, it's not great. And I put it back, after I drilled it out, I put it back in there. I've marked my box with a, with a paint pen so I know what size of bit I've drilled the hole in. So a couple times a year, I'll take the drill bit and I'll scrape out the inside of the, I'm gonna call it the varnish, of the hole for the boiled linseed oil to, to give the, to re-expose the wood to, or the oil to fresh grains. And then I will take my linseed oil jug. I mean, this is, this goes back to probably the fifties. I'm still using it. And I will pour a little bit of linseed oil on the handle over the hole and let it bubble in or bubble out so the oil is slowly draining into the wood and that way the, the fibers can wick it all the way down the handle and this keeps your handle more solid. It keeps the head swelled and um, it, it lasts a lot, lot, lot longer. My um, wetterlings I have, it's 20 years old. I've shortened the handle several times just because the wood um it wasn't because i was missing having missing strikes it was just the handle was so heavily used that the it was shrinking in the head and i've rehewed it a couple times and uh, you just take your hand wipe it down i can i'm only doing this with one hand here so but i'll, I'll pull it out of the vise and I'll do the rub the eye also. But that is my trick for making handles last. I do this on every single axe handle I change out. Um, you can get several years off what the lower quality handles even, and the good handles, I mean, I'm getting 20 years on these, and I use these axes all the time. I use them like a, uh, a hooker in when you're moving firewood. So every single piece of wood I pick to throw on the log splitter or pull out of the truck gets hit with, a, with an axe at least once, maybe twice. 
I don't bend over and pick stuff up anymore. Getting too old for that. Saves my back. Um, but that's my that's my hack for uh, saving axes. You guys have a blessed day.